Hello guys, greetings from Kharkov, Ukraine. My name is Svetlana Mucha and I'm the leading matchmaker and dating coach at DL.com. And today, together with beautiful executive director Katerina Romanenko, who looks much paler than me, mm -hmm. uh, we will talk uh, about the dates that we have recently scheduled for our clients, how it all went. Uh, we will discuss most common dating mistakes. Uh, it's been a while uh, since we had a chance to just film something uh, quickly for you in the office well but uh, in summer usually we are very busy scheduling the dates mm -hmm. yes that's true and uh, of course uh, as we have dates as we schedule them uh, we have we face with some mistakes that both our male and female clients do and we want to discuss uh, you know i think uh, the brightest uh, ones and uh, uh, what we they're not say? bright in the sense that they are so smart. I but... think you know brightest <laughs> in in the meaning that you always remember them because they are so extraordinary. Yes. You can't actually forget uh, yes, them. Yes, and so extraordinary comparing to our normal uh, behavior. Uh, so of course we have to discuss uh, them with you, and maybe it will help you to avoid some of them in future. Let's start with uh, the most. Uh, unusual date uh, that we have scheduled uh, about two weeks ago mm -hmm. uh, the gentleman actually uh, a ukrainian gentleman uh, because we have shared many times in our videos that we don't only do international matchmaking we work with local clients as well and we have many clients uh, gentlemen from ukraine from russia who live in western europe in the us for example and they want to date slavic ladies so uh, we work with different gentlemen it's not uh, true that uh, we work only with americans mm -hmm. that's such a huge cliche anyway uh, this ukrainian boy uh, who is 40 years old by the way mm -hmm. has showed up on a date uh, no not with his ex-girlfriend not with a friend with his father yes <laughs> that was a very nice idea of course they were not sitting together but uh, his father was sitting at the next table and looking at everything that was happening with his son. So <laughs> when we knew that, we were absolutely shocked. We thought, see, we were, uh, first seconds, we thought that it was a joke because it's impossible that 40 years old guy will come on a date with his father. And uh, uh, the first thing I'm thinking is why he was afraid of a lady or he, I don't know, he was worried that he will feel so nervous that he's he very insecure. He is very insecure, so I guess uh, he wanted to feel some kind of, some sort of protection. He mm -hmm. wanted to feel that he is not alone there. But wake up, you're 40 years old, uh, mm -hmm. you're not 14, you're not 24. And uh, if you want to get a girlfriend and build a relationship, um, at the early stage, uh, like first 12 dates, it should be just two of you no friends no kids no parents just two of you try to get to know each other better try to understand uh, if you are compatible if uh, your long-term goals align if you are on the same page about all important things and after that after this 10 to 12 dates you can start thinking about adding new people into mm -hmm. this equation uh, for example um uh, going on double dates and regarding kids uh, if you're talking about international dating uh, I could tell that uh, at least six months of traveling back and forth talking online before you introduce a lady to your child or she introduces you to her child because you have to be absolutely sure that uh, you're in a committed relationship you have to have this talk mm -hmm. and um, to bring a kid uh, when, uh, for example, you haven't even kissed because it has been like two or three dates, that's ridiculous. You are not even her boyfriend. So for me, uh, like a uh, gentleman tells me that, oh, I had two dates with her and for a second date she brought a child. Uh, for me, it's like a red flag that she wanted uh, like to have a free meal in the evening mm -hmm. and she didn't want to cook for her child. Second date, what on earth was she thinking? That's ridiculous. But a father on a date is something new, like almost 13 years in this profession and people still manage to surprise me. And thanks God, it happens so, so, so 
really that we first time. Uh, yes first time first time uh, during the 13 years thanks god that <laughs> it doesn't happen more often and a ukrainian man uh, because mm -hmm. uh, sometimes um i remember we have been working with a gentleman from israel and he wanted his brother to be there and uh, in that community you kind of can understand the bond between brothers but still they have managed to talk him out of it and within the years, we have seen it when gentlemen uh, want to travel over with a friend, for example. Mm -hmm. And we try to talk gentlemen out of it, because from our experience, it is a bad idea. If you are here to date, uh, it should be about you and your dates. Uh, opinion of your friend, it should matter, but after you get to know the lady, not when it is the second date and you try to what? Show her to your friend, what for? Maybe you need, uh, I don't know, his opinion, he has to put uh, s some marks uh, and you will understand that she is the right lady or not, but it's not uh, their choice, it's your choice. You, you didn't even have your own opinion yet and you're already asking for someone else's, it's, it's not... Uh, and try to think right. how the lady will feel, so she goes out with you, let's say, on the first date and you're there with your brother or with your father it's crazy. Uh, first of all, uh, on a date, uh, I think, of course, there are no rules, but uh, if it is a first date, it's two of you. If mm -hmm. it is a group date, people have to talk about it. If uh, the other party is comfortable to participate in a group date. Yes, and of course, uh, if you know that you're a close person, especially such close relative like father is sitting at the next table, uh, you will always feel uh, controlled. You will not relax. Even if you start to communicate with a lady normally, you will see that you have common topics to discuss. You have some connection, but uh, it, it will be always pushing on you, understanding that your father is sitting at the next table, that he hears everything that you are talking about. You will always concentrate and think what to say correctly in front of your father, instead of how to impress the lady, how to talk with her, which questions to ask, you will be like on a lesson and the teacher will be sitting at the next table. And after that, he will uh, say that, okay, uh, A plus or A minus, like uh, mm -hmm. you will get a grade for that. It's ridiculous. And also it feels a lot like playing a game, plotting, when you know that uh, your father is sitting over there, but the lady doesn't know it. Mm -hmm. And uh, she is not, part of this scenario so it is not fear yes it's not fear mm -hmm. always when you go on a date try to put yourself uh, in a position uh, of your partner try to uh, of course you can't walk in her shoes uh, but try to at least uh, try to at least uh, imagine how would you feel in this same situation you arrive on a date and she is with a bunch of friends or mm -hmm. with mother with a sister why of course, in certain communities, you need a chaperone because, for example, in religious communities, uh, you can't go out uh, on a date with a person from an opposite sex. If we are talking about Muslim weddings, I have been to a very traditional Turkish wedding and uh, females, we were sitting in a separate room while males, they were sitting in the other rooms and uh, no alcohol, of course, so just uh, tea and uh, Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Uh, but it is their community and it's their traditions. World. Yes, another world. And they are, of course, a girl and a boy. They can't just go out on a date uh, without a chaperone, without uh, a brother or sister, uh, someone married to mm -hmm. watch over them. Uh, but we are talking about uh, Ukraine. Uh, we are not talking about some secluded religious communities. Uh, so to go out on a date with the father, and also, I always tell all our clients that it is important for me as a matchmaker and for the whole team of Cupid to build a certain bond with the client. Uh, only in this case, we can do our work properly and we can truly understand, uh, understand needs and fears of our client. And if the client is lying to me and uh, or, withhold, or he is withholding information and not sharing the fact that he will go on a mm -hmm. date with your father, which is a very important fact. It, it is called withholding information. Mm -hmm. Because of course, if we knew that beforehand, we would try to stop him uh, to avoid this situation. But I think that's why he didn't tell us about that, because he knew that we will be against of it. Yes. And another mistake uh, that 
was made uh, the gentleman told the lady that uh, she is not pretty enough for him it, it was uh... <laughs> and the funny thing is that she is like 12 years younger than he is mm -hmm. very really, attractive yes girl. very attractive and uh, we work with gentlemen and we know how important it is that the lady looks like her photos and pretty often we face a situation that for example she was blonde when she has joined our base but then mm -hmm. she has dyed her hair for example pink or a darker shade of blonde or another color or she has uh, decided to get the bangs done or to curly her hair etc um, so we try to be very particular that the girl does look like your photos mm -hmm. but people forget that photos these are just static images and you can strike a pose you can for example be very uh, smiling at these photos uh, or you can be vice versa uh, really not relaxed very stiff if you are not used to taking pictures so uh, to expect that there will be 100% resembles, it's ridiculous. Also with ladies, uh, we always recommend ladies that, for example, if you uh, provide us with photos and your hair is curly on the photos, then uh, we advise you to uh, go out on a date with your hair mm -hmm. done the same way. So make it curly. If uh, usually you do not do it, uh, then you should bring photos uh, of yourself with straight hair uh, because sometimes uh, for example today I'm wearing my hair up and uh, if I will put it uh, down I will look different yes different and uh, I have it curly today but uh, my natural hair is straight Katerina has curly hair and uh, so often I don't know why she likes to have it straight <laughs> I like it more when she has it curly but it doesn't make her a different person so uh, same with makeup you can wear a pink lipstick or a darker sh shade of lipstick and you will look slightly different yes and you have to remember that a live person uh, she has emotions she will move she will smile she will talk so of course she will be different from the static photo that you see beforehand and you have to be ready for that and usually uh, I can say that the biggest percentage of our clients, they understand that. And when they meet a person in real life, uh, uh, the most, uh, uh, I don't know, common feedback that we get is that in real life, she looks much better than on her photos I because she's smiling. I two guys over 13 years and they have claimed that girls did not look like pictures. And uh, the last one, it is ridiculous. I think that he has overreacted. The whole situation his father is sitting there like, like really and uh, he has decided to be the first one to strike and to uh, claim that she is not beautiful because he was too afraid that uh, she won't like him mm -hmm. so it's not me breaking up with you it's not you breaking up with me it's me breaking up with you yes so. from the beginning I was <laughs> it was from the my beginning. decision <laughs> uh, and uh, in his case it was ridiculous of course uh, uh, we always advise girls not to bring us photos that have been adjusted or filters uh, have been used there. Uh, but still, some people photograph extremely well. And also, sometimes the gentleman falls for an exact photo mm -hmm. because he likes exact looks. For example, uh, she wears more makeup at that exact picture because she went to a party. Or he likes a certain dress and she was, for example, revealing a... Uh, she was wearing a V-neck line and she was revealing some breasts, more skin, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. on a date, for example, she has showed up uh, revealing more legs and covering uh, her uh, V-line. Uh, so the gentleman can feel disappointed because he has fallen for that exact feature. For example, certain looks, she was wearing more makeup and uh, it is summer, so usually women wear less makeup in summer because, mm -hmm. guys, when it is hot and you wear makeup, it is hot, hot mm -hmm. so it's not that convenient so and for example the photo was taken in spring and you could wear like uh, some eyeshadow and the gentleman has particularly fallen for that more glamorous look so this is why try to look at different photos uh, of course you will understand uh, the body type um, but it doesn't guarantee that she will show up on a date uh, very the same clothes absolutely looking the same and her hair up and mm -hmm. same makeup that's ridiculous so manage your expectations 
course, we are not talking about scenarios when, for example, on a photo she's a pretty blonde and when she arrives she's like 20 kilos plus. And trust me, if you work with people and sometimes uh, ladies also they send us photos before they um, uh, signed up for the interview with us and when she comes for the interview she looks different, especially with Instagram bloggers. When you open her blog and she is like a very, very, very um, photoshopped, I would say, plastic beauty. It's uh, very unnatural, but it, it's, it's perfect. So like magazine, uh, like cover girl uh, beauty. And then she comes up to the office. I can't tell that she looks uh, bad, but usually such girls, they look different than those photos. And then we recommend to bring photos that represent the way they look in real life. And the first time I remember the gentleman has claimed that the lady did not look like uh, her photos, he ended up dating her and they went on several mm -hmm. vacations and uh, they were intimate. Um, it didn't work up into a relationship. Actually, the lady had because, broken up with yes, him. Yes, uh, but it was his mistake because he was behaving uh, not in a nice way. Uh, but in his case, he was trying to fish more dates out of mm -hmm. us, claiming yes. that she doesn't look like the photos. and she does look like the photos uh it's it's not like we try to deceive someone when we show photos it's in our interest to make sure that when the gentleman and the lady um, meet on a date that they recognize each other so the same with the gentleman when they try to give us photos that are like two years old or three years old and you can tell that uh, he looks different mm -hmm. he got more gray here which is not uh, always a bad scene or for example, he has lost a few kilos, gained a few kilos. We are always honest that the lady will expect the guy from this picture. Yes. So you have to look like that guy or make other photos. Yes, and what is also sad about this last situation is that lady was, uh, she was so looking forward to this date. She she felt so, you know, nervous, but in a nice way. She, she was so prepared. Uh, she uh, went with a good mood. She sent us photos when she was ready for a the video. Date. She sent me the video, video to show her hair. Uh, so she was worried like if he would like uh, her hair. So it took her two hours to get ready for that date. And uh, of course, it is also a lesson to her to understand mm -hmm. that not all guys are nice. And uh, next time when she, we will introduce and we will introduce her to a nice guy, uh, she will appreciate him more. But it is still a sad situation. I think over 13 years, this was the first time I was ashamed of a client. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, was, I, I really felt like Spanish shame. It's not, it was not me uh, there uh, telling a girl that she was not pretty or bringing a father. But I felt responsible because I have introduced her to him. Of course. And I felt so, so sad. Of course, we uh, have stopped working with this mm -hmm. gentleman. It's the second time, I think, over the years that we have stopped working. Yes, yeah, second time. Uh, mm -hmm. Over 13 years. <laughs> this is why it is memorable. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk some more about mistakes that the gentlemen and ladies make. Uh, let's talk more maybe about the gentleman who has decided to combine uh, a business trip with scheduling the dates. Yes, it was also a very, uh, yes, very interesting and uh, sad situation in the, because uh, we knew that this guy, he had a business, he has business. Uh, uh, relationship also with our city he has company with which they are partners in business and this his trip it was planned like business trip uh, first and we asked him maybe it's not the right time maybe you will come next time to meet the ladies and he said that uh, no no of course I want to change the program uh, I come always for business trip I want to make it this time another way so let's plan the dates uh, we planned two dates for him, we introduced him to two wonderful ladies, but the scenario was like we were afraid from the beginning, that he was so busy with his work, that, uh, for example, we approve with him time of the, for the date, and later on this day uh, he say that he is busy at that time, so he has to reschedule everything with the ladies, so uh, one lady we lost her uh, because of it, because we rescheduled the date several times and she understood that uh, something she is, is not going on. Yes. 
Um, with one of the ladies he still communicates, but I'm not sure where it goes because even she uh, had gave us a feedback that we meet when he has time. Of course, for any lady, especially on the first stages of relationship, uh, it's not a good feeling when you understand that someone is meeting you because now he has time for that. Um, I can add that, uh, of course, uh, when you just meet someone, it's not like you have to drop uh, all your responsibilities and all your tasks, uh, give up your work and uh, entertain uh, a person, virtually a stranger you have just met for the first or second date. But still, when you schedule a date, especially with the Ukrainian woman, you have to understand that she is doing some planning as well. So she reserves this time to meet you. It doesn't mean that she's meeting tons of people, but who knows, maybe she has met someone on Tinder and she also mm -hmm. uh, wants to meet him. People have their lives and also to book a nice hairdresser, uh, to arrange a babysitter if you have a kid. Uh, to arrange where uh, you will uh, leave your dog, for example, if that's an evening date. Even to do work. To do such plans, yes, and to free that evening. For example, she knows that she will go out with you on a date and then she is all dressed up and uh, wearing her makeup and her hair is done. She just stays at home. Um, her mood uh, will shift not in the right direction uh, if, for example, uh, you will reschedule. Of course, life can happen and uh, we are all adults, so something can ca come up and uh, sometimes ladies ask us, can we like move a date for like 30 minutes later, maybe an hour later, usually they do it beforehand and they try to be understanding and respectful about it. But if you travel over to meet ladies, make it your priority, because uh, trying to squeeze uh, her schedule and your schedule with the dates, uh, trying to mix it all together, it's not an easy task. And for example, if she has two evenings free for dates, uh, you have to jump for this opportunity mm -hmm. and not to tell that, oh, I'm also busy. She has to uh, change her plans for me. It works both ways. And ladies feel it when they are not a priority, when the gentleman uh, literally sits on the date, but he's thinking about a Skype call he has to have with a client after this date. So if it is a date, uh, try to concentrate on a date, to switch off your phone, not to check your emails, uh, not to check uh, if the next meeting, uh, not at the date, but a business meeting is still uh, on. So concentrate on the lady, uh, because otherwise, uh, Otherwise, uh, you will just lose time. You won't work properly because you will get distracted with the dates and uh, you won't actually enjoy the dates and you won't get the results that you want. So choosing timing is important. Life is very busy. It, it will always be busy. Even during the lockdown, we have been busy, mm -hmm. like with all the calls and with all things to do. So don't wait for the perfect moment when you can give up everything and concentrate just on dating. Yes, because life is going on while you are waiting for the right moment. And time doesn't stop and you lose time. Uh, time when you can be in relationship with the right person. Uh, so, and what is uh, uh, most important in that situation that both ladies, they were very interested in him. After the first dates, they both wanted to continue communication to see how it goes, they really both were interested and liked uh, the first dates. That's why, of course, it was a little sad for us when we understood that it doesn't go anywhere with, with both of them. I don't know what, what will be with one of the ladies, but... I hope he will uh, make her a priority. Yes, I also hope so. Life is busy and uh, building a relationship, you will have to invest time uh, mm -hmm. into it. Uh, it's not like... Uh, some gentlemen tell me that, oh, if I meet the one, then uh, magically uh, my uh, shuttle will get easier and I will be able to uh, actually uh, manage both my work and dating life. No, if you won't make dating a priority, if you won't actually find time for it, because we do find time for things that are important to us. Yes, so we hope that <laughs> you will not do such mistakes. And if you come to meet the ladies, if you come uh, to build a relationship, then you will concentrate on it. It's very important. 
And another popular mistake, actually it was a female mistake this time, is talking about uh, sense, like giving too much information, Ooh. way too much information about your ex, uh, about your problems at work, mm -hmm. about your boss, about your co-worker, first date, and you give all this negative information, all these negative stories. Uh, what result uh, do such people uh, want to achieve in the end? Dates should be fun. They should be easy. You have to believe. You have to feel like really light in a good sense. Uh, you have to feel optimistic and happy after the date, uh, not uh, bored to death or not sad because somebody is having so many troubles at work. Yes, and you know, uh, I understand about which situation you are talking. Uh, really, it happened also not so long ago, and several weeks ago. That uh, it was a lady mistake. She was talking about many topics, and uh, not only negative. She said uh, also uh, simple things. Uh, for example, what she likes, uh, her priorities in food, in colors. But she was talking about that so much that after the date, it was uh, uh, the main thing that uh, the man remembered. He remembered her priorities in the color in something and in the, favorite color. Uh, yes, so it it she was talking about that so much that uh, men remembered it in detail, and after the date, uh, of course, I can't say that the, the date went so bad, but after the date, that guy had a feeling she's so good person. Please introduce her to someone very well because I can't appreciate her, but uh, she has to meet the right person. Please introduce her. Is it really uh, that feedback that you want to get uh, after she the date? She was nice, but she was given too much information. Too much. So all these unnecessary details and uh, sometimes when you meet someone and this person is jumping from one topic to another and you don't feel comfortable because you kind of uh, try to listen to what the other person is saying, uh, but then you lose the track and you can't understand uh, uh, which story has finished where and why now we are discussing her cousin because uh, like mm -hmm. five minutes ago she was talking about the project she is working on and now she is talking about a friend of a friend and whose cat is there, whose kid, you kind of lose track of what the person is saying. And also a common mistake that we have seen this summer is when gentlemen, I understand that many gentlemen are out of dating practice, when they come on a date and they are literally mute. So they sit and wait mm -hmm. that the lady will entertain him. And some ladies do entertain them because, for example, she has this bubbly personality or she's just natural uh, in communication or she tries to save this day so badly that she's asking questions, she starts mm -hmm. sharing stories. And you know what gentlemen do? They relax even more. Mm -hmm. So she's doing all the talking, now I can't relax and can... Uh, enjoy our, our time together and uh, not invest much energy into our communication and into this date and later on the gentleman tell that oh i felt some comfort so comfortable with her she was doing all the talking and she was making jokes sharing stories it felt so nice and the lady tells that for three hours i was literally mm -hmm. entertaining him like i was asking all the questions sharing all the stories so no i don't want to go out with him again because he didn't even try to entertain me. So it works both ways. If, for example, uh, you are out of dating practice, you haven't been dating for a while, uh, try to think of several interesting stories to tell. About your work, for example, if you don't have lots of uh, interesting hobbies, uh, about your work, uh, about a friend, you can share a story about a friend, you will show that you have friends. Mm -hmm. which is also important but you have to have several stories so that uh, when you meet a lady and uh, you feel nervous because usually dates are a nervous experience in a good sense and uh, you for example feel overwhelmed instead of striking her first and breaking up with her before she even joined the table mm -hmm. Uh, try to share at least one story, one joke, so you have to be prepared. Don't wait that all the stories will magically appear just because you like the way she looks and uh, somehow it will all work out. Uh, dating is a skill and flirting is a skill, so you have to work on it. 
and uh, we have seen it with several gentlemen and uh, unfortunately they go out on a date and then they don't know what especially with our younger clients usually our older clients because they have been married they went through a marriage mm -hmm. so they have relationship experience and our younger clients in their 20s and 30s uh, we have seen a lot of it that people don't have necessary skills that not only they don't know how to court a lady or how to flirt they can't even build a proper uh, interest in communication mm -hmm. and it, they don't even try to do it so he just arrives gives her flowers and sits well, he also thinks that he made an investment because he came from another country to meet her so it was already his investment into communication but of course well, we she has showed up on a date as of well of course and we all we prefer and we like uh, communication where two person involved even if you are so talkative, so communicative, so, uh, I, I don't know, easygoing. Uh, anyway, you will be tired of uh, entertaining another person. You will want him to ask your questions too, to share some information too, and to bring up topics too. Because if you do it all the time, all, uh, all the time during your data communication, everyone will be tired even if she's interested in you even if she liked you from the beginning but if she does all the entertaining part she will be tired emotionally tired and uh, uh, she will think that uh, she will think about the second date <laughs> like uh, it's nightmare because she will come again she has to think what to talk about now bring the energy yes yeah, so of course it will be difficult for her she she will better think that i will better not go on the second date than I have this experience again. I was thinking uh, like several years ago we have been working with a gentleman and he has actually worked for Google and before that he has worked for Facebook. Uh, he works in IT field and after two dates the ladies the ladies he has met they didn't know where he worked. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got we got same feedback uh, from uh, the ladies that uh, I was doing all the talking. He was like basically asking some questions like what do you do for a living and she's telling about it and tell me about your family and then again she's sharing some stories uh, oh tell me about your favorite hobbies so after the date she feels like she has been interrogated mm -hmm. and she knows zero about him out like out of five ladies we have introduced him to none have heard for which companies he has mm -hmm. actually worked and where he's working now and what he's doing for a living only that brief information that I have given that he works for an IT company, uh, that he has masters in this and he has studied there, so some basic information. And uh, this year, pretty much similar scenario, but in that case, I have uh, managed to push the gentleman, he is my coaching client. So how come the lady you are out on dates, on date number four, she doesn't know where you work? She doesn't know if you have siblings, you have to do some talking about yourself as well. Otherwise, she will feel like, oh, it's like a job interview. They are asking mm -hmm. questions and uh, I have to uh, tell something. What should I tell? Yes, and job interview is a very stressful thing and nobody wants to be stressed on a date. Everybody wants to come and be relaxed and have uh, normal communication, relaxed communication, and if the lady feels herself like you're interviewing her, uh, then of course she will not be comfortable. This is funny because so often during job interviews, for example, if a person doesn't get a job, she ends up becoming our client or she ends up buying my book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Sometimes they tell that, oh, maybe you will have some other openings, like, um, and usually why, for example, we were looking for a lady who could uh, write for our blog. We have several blogs, so we basically we were looking for another copywriter who uh, speaks uh, good English and who can write in good English and who is creative enough uh, and uh, who is patient enough to uh, do necessary research and create that article together with our psychologist. And sometimes level of English is not enough for us, mm -hmm. written English. So uh, for, I honestly tell that, unfortunately, like we can't have you because uh, mistakes, mistakes, mm -hmm. unfortunately, or uh, for example, the article is not creative enough. And then people, uh, I start telling about our company and usually people say that, oh, but I have watched your videos. Um, maybe you have something else. Uh, maybe you need someone else. Uh, so after the date with you, 
people have to feel intrigued. Mm -hmm. uh, they have to feel hooked up on this idea that uh, you will continue sharing the story on the next date. Mm -hmm. And if the whole date she was doing all the talking, and uh, <laughs> or for example, another scenario, the lady was uh, asking questions and uh, sharing something about herself, and all the gentleman has managed to do was asking her and you, Yes, it happens too. <laughs> so she's asking him a question, she's making an effort, and he's like a lazy ass who <laughs> doesn't think it is necessary to think of an interesting question to ask her. He's just saying something like, and you? And what about you? Mm -hmm. And at that moment he thinks that he's so involved in the conversation <laughs> <laughs> that he does his best to. <laughs> That's so sad because uh, usually people uh, they end up uh, single, uh, not because of their choice uh, that oh it's not uh, them not willing to date me, like it's me deciding that uh, not uh, there is no woman in this world who is good enough for me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, it is uh, sometimes pretty often it is just the lack of skills how to talk to people on dates and people get frustrated, they get upset. So, so often gentlemen need uh, coaching, dating coaching, even stronger than women, because usually women are naturally cleared, not all of them, of course. And also women love educating themselves, mm -hmm. reading books about flirt, attending seminars, like when we host events, like tickets are sold out so quickly when they see the word flirt and psychologists talking about flirt making talking about flirt uh, they want to learn and they want to improve their skills and it doesn't matter what age they are so i really like it when uh, ladies uh, tell it oh i want to buy your books for my daughter but she's like 16 books are a little bit too adult for her no i will present them to her when she's 17 for her graduation so that she can avoid dating mistakes and she can uh, learn more about relationship and these guys, uh, so often they think that, oh, I'm a real macho, I'm just mm -hmm. natural. I will show up on a date, I will bring nice flowers, and the fact that I'm American, mm -hmm. they will all love me. And then he sits there very stiff, very uncomfortable, and he can't think of a single story to share, a single question to ask, and he thinks that it is a job of a lady in front of him to entertain her and to do, entertain him and to do all the talking. Yes, and the best compliment that they can do, you're so beautiful. <laughs> it's, uh, it's better than you're not pretty enough for me, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially from a guy. Yes, but... Uh, Who is by no means a 10. No offense here, just... Uh, I'm just bluntly honest. <laughs> so, no sugar coating here. Learn a few compliments. Uh, learn a few stories that you can share during the dates. Uh, they can be work related, they can be friend related, family related, hobby related, but they have to be fun, not something negative. And always remember that you are meeting a person from another culture, another country, another background. It's just impossible that you don't have topics to discuss. You always can find something that you can discuss about differences in countries, uh, some traditions, about some features of your culture, about so many things that it's just impossible that you have nothing to talk about. Or you can always tell her about your city and if you're from another country, about your country. Something peculiar, something she can learn only from you. You can uh, play this for an card. Mm -hmm. Our Ukrainian clients, they can't do that. So there you have to think of something fun to tell. Mm -hmm. about your job, about your last vacation, about your new hobby. Don't talk about your ex. Mm -hmm. And uh, less about COVID. We're already tired and of politics. politics. Even if you yes. like talking about politics, that's not the right topic for the date. She's wearing a nice dress, her hair is done, her makeup is done. She wants to hear something romantic, she mm -hmm. wants to flirt with you and not uh, discussing presidents and uh, rules and COVID regulations. Mm -hmm. Yes, we, we have we face with it in our everyday life. So we, when we are meeting someone on a romantic date, we want to concentrate and to talk uh, about something more romantic than masks on the face, vaccination or something similar. And watch your partner. A very common mistake, especially with our younger clients. Again, 
the girl is easy going she is bubbling the gentleman uh here is not trying that hard on a date and now she he's even more relaxed because she's doing all the talking and i can just relax and enjoy the date mm -hmm. And he's not even seeing it by her body language that she is not that involved into the date. Mm -hmm. So she's doing the talking for the sake of talking, not because she feels so relaxed with you. Mm -hmm. So try to watch the body language. Try to uh, see the reaction of your partner to stories you are sharing. And it takes practice. Sometimes uh, also what I have noticed this spring and um, this summer, the gentlemen, they have this idea that they will go out on a first date without having any real dating experience. Or for example, uh, they had this dating experience 15 years ago when they were in college and they have been dating and they, they were married or for example, were in a long relationship, a long term relationship. And uh, now out of a sudden they think that, okay, it's like riding a bicycle. Mm -hmm. I will re remember how to do it. <laughs> I did roller skating about 12 years ago. I tried it last year and I want to try it again. And guys, uh, Yes, there is some memory in muscles, but that since I could do, uh, I could have done like 12 years ago, I didn't even <laughs> want to try it because it was like I have never tried to roller skate in my life and I was quite good in it. So to assume that right now I will go out on a date uh, with a very attractive girl who for sure doesn't have lack of male attention and without any practice in dating. I will just win her over and uh, they will get married. It's a little bit naive. Dating is a process and uh, be prepared that probably you will sabotage a few dates and you will learn how to navigate better through the dates. Mm -hmm. And so often it's not about the girl in front of you. Oh, she is a bad person because she hasn't chosen me. She doesn't even know you. She went out on one date with you. You had a chance to get to know her, but instead she did all the talking or instead you were asking stupid questions or she was bored. It, it's a natural reaction. We all want to go out on dates with someone with whom we feel fun, relaxed, comfortable, confident. Mm -hmm. Yes, because first dates, uh, they show you if there can be any future between you, if there can be any chemistry. Uh, it's exactly, uh, it is shown on the first dates. That's why first dates, they have to be emotionally relaxed. They have to be uh, full of uh, uh, nice conversations, uh, of romantic, of compliments. So if you have uh, good first dates, this is the best, uh, basic that uh, the future relationship will be, be uh, will be built in harmonic way and that you will feel comfortable with each other from the beginning. Two or three dates. Don't try to put all the pressure mm -hmm. on the first date. That, oh, on the first date, we have to f uh, fall in love mainly with each other, feel butterflies in the stomach and blah, blah, blah. Over the years, I can think of just a few couples where chemistry was so strong on the first date and it grew only stronger later. Usually when chemistry is very strong on the first date, it starts fading, it's a little bit unnatural. Uh, because people so often, they put so much expectations into this first date. What they should feel, how their partner should behave, uh, what they should say, what the partner should say, that they actually miss a chance to enjoy what's going on in reality. Yes. Mm -hmm. In their head, they have this trick scenario, uh, for example, with this uh, client who told the lady that she is not pretty uh, maybe he has expected her to wear a dress from that picture we will never know mm -hmm. or to wear the same shade of lipstick or more makeup and she was wearing less makeup so we create this image and we try to stick to it ladies fall for this mistake as well so it's not just the male mistake uh, so uh, the right attitude when you go on a date is that you are truly open and present to get to know a person in front of you not thinking about the next person you will meet because it was also a very common mistake it's, oh i have children in girl already i have seen her profile mm -hmm. we haven't even met but i know that she will be perfect why because you like the photo or because she is younger or taller than the rest of the girls you, you don't even know her so uh, you can pick a favorite after you went out on three dates and you are quite confident that the feeling is mutual because three dates yes. She has to be interested to go out on three dates. Mm -hmm. Like 
second date she can still be second guessing and she can still give in herself and you a chance to get to know each other mm -hmm. but three dates it's um, a good signal that uh, there is some interest and sometimes guys uh, mistake this interest with uh, her desire to date him like mm -hmm. Three she already has chosen me. Yeah, she has chosen me. No, she can be still uh, be on Tinder or whatever. Mm -hmm. Three dates, it's just three dates. It's a good uh, signal. It's uh, a good indicator that uh, there is interest. Because if there are no interests, there won't be the third date. Of course. Like, first date, it's pretty much about the looks and if... Uh, for example, you are turned off by something, if uh, you feel like he or she reminds you of someone, because sometimes it's not even about uh, you or her, you remind her of her ex-boyfriend, or you remind her of her colleague and she can't stand him. Uh, not always by your looks, but, some, but sometimes by uh, things you say, mm -hmm. by topics you choose, uh, even by the way you uh, hold your glass, it can also happen, or her favorite uncle or not so favorite uncle. Mm -hmm. So second dates are usually more about getting to know each other. Yeah, so you have to um, not, first of all, not to think that if she's going on the second or third date with you, she has already chosen you. You still communicate. Nobody has chosen anyone yet. Uh, you are on the stage of communication and uh, you will see how it goes but if she agrees to go with you on the third date it shows that she already has some interest uh, in you and it doesn't mean that you have here you have to relax oh she has already chosen me and then uh, i'm so relaxed no it's, you still has to win her over the same as her she also has to be con still concentrated and she also has to uh, get your interest too so it's it's both from both sides uh, you're still on the stage uh, where you just try to get to know each other and see how it goes further uh, but you have to remember that uh, you it, it's too early to relax and uh, decide that uh, she, she has already chosen me or she's the one when after the third date you have decided that she's the one stop yourself uh, think uh, turn on all your logistics uh, thinking and uh, understand that it's too early to decide that. Sometimes people date for one or two years and uh, they are not sure yet that if she's the right. But it's also not healthy like two years. I think that six months is a good indicator because usually uh, at six months you know if it is just an infatuation, if you were just physically attracted to each other. Because after six months the first adrenaline it starts to fade all the novelty that you have met someone and uh, usually all the physical aspects you you did them already so you had sex you get it out of your system and you start to really get to know your partner you understand mm -hmm. if you're on the same page about long-term goals about important aspects uh, about uh, life in general relationship about money uh, about family uh, you start getting to know each other uh, from different sides, like a circle of friends, family. So this is the point where you will either make it or break it as a couple. Uh, but three dates, and usually it's a male mistake. They even try to do it by a profile. So when they show a profile, mm -hmm. oh, she's the one. I'm so interested to meet her. You don't even know her. It doesn't mean that she's... And sometimes when I tell the client that uh, I don't like your reaction, you are getting too upset with this profile. No, I know that she is the one. Why? Because you like her pictures or because she has mentioned that she is uh, into outdoors. I will open I know, a secret to you guys. I'm not sure if you know it, but sometimes when people fill the profile, uh, they try to look their best and they think, for example, okay, um, I will tell that I go to gym because uh, mm -hmm. I would like to see it in the profile. And uh, when we let the lady fill the profile, of course, we add the mistakes, uh, ask the mistakes, we ask the questions, mm -hmm. and uh, I was thinking that uh, sometimes we correct the mistakes if her English is not that good, uh, but usually we try to leave it the way it is. And uh, we then write a comment together with our psychologist, like our thoughts about our meeting, so it is also there in the profile. But what the lady writes about herself, 
She writes what she feels like writing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people don't get a, don't have ideas. What should I write about myself? Then I start asking questions like, hmm, can you tell me about your uh, long-term goals for the next five years, for the next three years? Uh, in the family, do you want to have kids? Uh, do you want to continue working on this current position? How do you usually spend your weekends? And then people describe it. But sometimes when a lady writes that I am romantic, in her mind, being romantic means that she has three candles at home. <laughs> well, for other people, being romantic means that uh, they will fly on the balloon or they will watch sunsets uh, while sleeping in tent uh, by a beautiful lake. So different people uh, put different ideas to certain words. So to concentrate too much on what she has written in the profile, it will just give you the idea what she has written at that exact moment. Mm -hmm. Concentrating on what we have written, uh, yes, it is more smart uh, when, for example, a psychologist write that she's intelligent. Uh, why we jump to this conclusion? Well, she has two university degrees and she speaks two languages. And uh, while we were talking to her, we could tell that she's intelligent, she's well read. Um, she's ready to relocate for the right guy? Yes, because we have been talking to her and uh, her priorities for, uh, are to find uh, the right guy to build a family, to have kids, and she understands that with her degree she can uh, continue working in another country. So this we uh, can check and this we can control. But other things, when people write that I adore nature, <laughs> some people adore... Katerina is afraid of spiders, so every time we try to do a picnic or something like that, we have to be careful, there are no spiders around. So. <laughs> Can we call the, call you that you are not that fond of nature? No, I love nature except of spiders. Uh, <laughs> it's secretly for me, nature and spiders. Sleeping in tent? Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. It's not for me. I love nature, just uh, uh, being there, uh, watching it, but uh, no, such kind. No. In photos, guys try to, uh, when they look at these pictures, they try to create an image what this person is like. And you can't do it. Mm -hmm. It's just a photo, even five pictures. Of course, we try to preselect photos that uh, uh, show more of the way of life the lady is leading. For example, if she goes to gym regularly, we can add some gym photos. If she is a fitness instructor, some photos from her work. A uh, school teacher, uh, some photos of her uh, by her school. Uh, a doctor, yes, wearing this white coat. Uh, so. We can we try to do it, but still photos, you can never know for sure. Maybe she has just bought this dress and uh, just she put it on just once for that picture. Mm -hmm. Maybe that is even not her dress, that's her sister's. And you already fall for these looks. Yes, don't uh, uh, make any portraits in your head. Uh, of course, it's important to be interested in the person that you are going to meet. Uh, it, it's correct. It's healthy attitude when you want to meet, to meet the You have person. to feel intrigued. So yes. you see the photos, you like your uh, type of body, mm -hmm. um, you like your skin color, um, you like your uh, hair color, uh, you like your eyes color. For example, with our Asian clients, they uh, have this fetish for very light skin color. But again, uh, I have a naturally light skin color, but I got some good tan. So now on camera, I look like I'm several shades uh, uh, tanner than you are. It's summer. It's, it's absolutely normal for summer. So if, for example, uh, a gentleman, an Asian gentleman uh, has uh, chosen my profile if I was single uh, in autumn when I'm not so tan and do not spend uh, all weekends outdoors, and then, for example, he traveled and has met me in summer, he would be disappointed. Because in summer, usually I get 10. I love spending time outdoors. So try to uh, try to manage your excitement. There has to be excitement before the date. But you have to be excited about the date and a real person, not the image you have created in your mind. Because that image, it has nothing to do very often with the real person. Which doesn't mean that the real person is a bad one. She can be a great person and actually a great match for you. But you do not give yourself a chance to actually get to know her, not this uh, 
plastic illusion you have created in your mind. Mm -hmm. I have seen it so many times over the years and this year, what was also, oh, uh, she is uh, a sad person because she doesn't smile at these photos. Uh, yes, on the photos. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's Ukraine. In the United States, you all are smiling like mm -hmm. that in shops and for us it looks a little bit fake so in our country when we smile we mean it yes so to go to a studio and to take photos like that it's a little bit unnatural and usually photographers they tell that okay don't smile just relax mm -hmm. look relax nobody wants that forced smile and even when you are among friends you can take some pictures but again some people photograph extremely well mm -hmm. and usually such people are before Photoshop, they were making fortunes posing for magazines because they photograph well and uh, that's their strengths. Some people can't photograph that well. They don't know how to strike that pose, but they can be very attractive in real life. So it is important to meet in person. It, it is important to get excited about a real person you are going to meet, not the static photo. And again, uh, it is important to see how two of you will react to each other. Will you trigger uh, some fears? Uh, will you trigger some insecurities? Because I have seen it so many times. Uh, for example, a lady, she's very sweet, but with this guy, she gets uh, protective uh, of her way. I can't tell that she is rude, but uh, she, uh, she looks so closed off and... Um, while talking to me or to the team, she is different. When we introduce her to the other couple, a client, she is easygoing, she feels relaxed. So different people relax in a different way. Even this, this client uh, in Ukraine, we joke that uh, he will uh, feel it, that we are talking about him, he'll have a hiccup. So um, when I was talking to him in the office, yes, I have felt it, that he is very insecure and he obviously doesn't have much experience with women and uh, probably it has something to do with his parents um, so uh, I have felt it uh, but he didn't strike me as an aggressive and mean type because to tell a lady that oh you are not beautiful it, it's mean mm -hmm. but we all react in a different way to stress so try to watch how you react uh, on these uh, two ladies uh, do you behave normally or are you that stressed that you are afraid to ask a question? Yes, and but anyway, don't be rude. Never, uh, never in your life, especially on a date, don't be rude with a lady. Uh, because, you know, I remember when that girl, she was crying after the date because uh, he's, uh, he told her that you are not uh, beautiful. It, it was terrible. Uh, nobody has to cry because of you or because of your words. The same as we uh, we are always on the side of our male clients uh, and we always uh, always worry about them and for us uh, their uh, the feelings yeah. yes their feelings are so important and is a priority so uh, the same we will be always for you is if somebody is rude with you will be always on your side uh, and you from your side you have to be polite and nice with other people too but you have to be prepared that not everybody will fall uh, mainly for you because sometimes gentlemen get upset that for example oh this girl doesn't want to go out with me on a second or a third date well it's life and there is yes. no guarantee that everybody will be smitten by you a lot depends on you so uh, there is no guarantee that uh, just because she liked your picture she will be smitten uh, by you during the date especially if you sit there stiffly and you do not try to entertain her with a nice compliment. Um, being rude, it's a bad idea. I believe in dating karma and trust me, it always returns. Mm -hmm. So uh, we all learn our lessons and uh, we all need this experience to become better in dating and to become better people, to learn more about ourselves. Why do I feel, for example, so insecure to, uh, when a beautiful girl's in, girl is sitting in front of me? Why I can't share a story? Or why I feel not comfortable? Why I don't feel confident? Uh, very often it's not about your date, it's about you and uh, you have to learn uh, about yourself, what makes you feel so insecure. Yes, every meeting in your life, every situation, it is given to help you to understand yourself. If you 
feel so uncomfortable with the day on a date with a lady you have to analyze yourself to be honest with yourself why it is happening why i feel in that way and it will be the best uh, conclusion of the date if you understand for yourself why it is happening and it will help you to avoid uh, on the next date you can't be nice to everyone because sometimes ladies and gentlemen they fall for this Oh, I want to be nice. Uh, if, for example, for whatever reason, a girl, she went out on a first date and she didn't like a gentleman uh, enough to go out on a second date with him, she was bored or uh, she didn't feel the sparkles. And uh, we always tell that it is crazy to look forward to the sparkle on the first date and give it at least a second date. But sometimes she went out with him and she was like, usually she was bored. She was bored and she was not that attracted. Uh, for example, on photos, uh, the gentleman looked more confident and in real life he did not give any confident vibes at all. And um, she had to do all the talking and she felt it that he, she is af he is afraid of her. Anyway, uh, for example, she didn't feel like she wants to go out with him on a second date. Uh, but she went on the first date, she was uh, polite, she, she was not rude. And then the gentleman starts with mouse and how that how come i have asked her out on a date mm -hmm. i bought her flowers and she didn't like me she is a bad person no she is not she just didn't like you gentlemen often forget that for example sometimes after two dates they tell that okay i'm not that interested in tatiana i will continue mm -hmm. dating irina do you feel uh, that uh, do you even have this uh, idea somewhere in your head that maybe uh, tatiana the one you are turning off uh, might be upset. So when dating, yes, you can't be uh, a good uh, fluffy white person for everyone. Fluffy white because uh, we have a saying in Russian language because kittens are white fluffy kittens are cute. Mm -hmm. So very often when people want to be cute and nice and very likable, uh, we call them white and fluffy. Mm -hmm. So uh, sometimes people are so obsessed on the idea that everybody has to like them that they forget a reality. Anyway, we have talked for almost an hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whew, that's, that, that has been a, a long video. Please let us know in the comments below if you have actually managed to watch it till the end. Mm -hmm. Do you want more long videos like this? Uh, we will try to do them for you. And also, please comment if you like Katerina's hair curly, just like I do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it will convince her to wear it uh, this way more often to the office, because I think it's natural, it's, it's beautiful and it's unique. If you have uh, more questions to us or if you have some stories to share uh, with our subscribers or you want us to discuss these stories in the upcoming videos, you can always leave them below this video or you can email them to us directly to katerina at diola.com or svetlana at diola.com mm -hmm. let's make a heart and wish everybody love and go back to work <laughs> bye guys